Ladies first, as we get a look at the bracket, Russia back in a title game, defending their gold medal from a year ago. Guess who else is back in the title game? The Japanese, a rematch of the 2018 U23 World Cup. Russia obviously winning gold last year. Can they do it again? They've won 42 straight at the U23 level. They've been unbeatable. But will Japan have the answer this time around? That's the question. Team Russia hits the court first with the Frokina twins, Evgenia and Olga, as well as Yulia Kozik and their top scorer, Ekaterina Palyashova. Japan come out dressed in black. And they enter with a dangerous squad as well. Mai Yamamoto, Mo Nagata, Risha, Nishioka and Stephanie Mawuli. For Japan, it was a 16-9 win over Belarus in the semifinals that locked down their spot. For Russia, it was a 16-11 win over France that put them here. Kayla and Shirong Shi will officiate our women's gold medal game. They both obviously will medal again this year. But will it be the same story from last year's episode where Japan settled for silver while Russia ran straight to gold. All the questions will be answered in the next 10 minutes. Both teams have their final discussions before this one starts off. Russia breaks the huddle. Different team this year for Russia. Nearly the same team last year for this Japan squad. Yamamoto was there. Nagata was not. She made her debut, but Nishioka and Mawuli were there. So they got the experience of playing on this stage. Yamamoto pulls the trigger first. She misses it long. Kozik over to Evgenia. Gets it back. But Yamamoto was down. And Russian foul, I believe. Yeah. Foul on Russia. Rock over to, to the Japanese. Yamamoto starts the nice ball with the Nagata. Couldn't find the mark. Palyashova, an unstoppable force for this Russian team. Evgenia, or Olga rather, toilet bowled it out. Rolled around once. Oh, Nagata. Oh, got her with the cross. Ankle check. One nothing. Here's Nagata. Kicks it out. Yamamoto. Deep range. Too long. Olga. Cross court pass. Kozik tracks it down. She goes to the corner. Left it short. There's no hope down low. Yamamoto was trying to guard Palyashova. Palyashova has been a scoring machine for Russia. But her free throw is short. She thought that Fokina was going to grab it, but she did not. Mawuli drops it down to Nishioka. I say one thing I do like about this Japanese team is they always are smiling, always encouraging each other, even when the chips are down. Big time. They get it down low, but Eugenia couldn't score it. Oh, oh Nagata. A quick change of direction. She gets to her spot and she drops it like it. Palia Shova. She didn't put enough on her shot. You saw that free throw, and her two piece was short too. She have to adjust, adjust that shooting form a little bit. Nagata, right to left. She's down. She's holding her right knee. She's gonna check out. Yamamoto will check in for her. We'll shake it off. Second foul on Russia. 
gold medal game. Stephanie Mawuli. She's ready to get unruly. Yamamoto. Swishalicious. 4 0 Japan. Ozik with the move on Mawuli is able to draw the foul. Now Russia on the board, courtesy of Polyashova. Yamamoto lost the cookie. Russia recovers it, but Yamamoto, with a smart play to tie things up. Should get the possession back for Team Japan. One loss to their name. And that was to France in the pool phase. Russia with no losses, but they they get lost on defense there as Mawuli is given an easy breezy score underneath. 5 1 Japan. Eugenia misses a point blank range, trying to stick with it. Now Oga will have a turn. Count it. One legged fader. Nagata. Down low to Mawuli, good positioning. He's making things difficult on uh, Kozik down there. 5 2 contest. Three point lead for the Japanese. They got revenge on their mind. Nishioka on the short shot, put too much on it. Kozik will get a good look, two up. Couldn't put two down. Score stays where it is. Good idea on the pass, but the execution wasn't quite there. Change of direction. Sister. Mister. Good save, though. Polyashova. She heads to the rack. She misses it. Nagata. Up fake. Excuse me. I got places to go buckets to get, if you don't mind. 6-2. Here's Nagata. Hotter than lava. She's got it going for Japan. <laughs> Seven two lead for Japan. Quick ride of the gates. And TV timeout. Nagata's provided the spark. See her get to the to the rack and Yamamoto finding the stroke from the logo. She is rangeless. Stephanie Mawuli coming free. And that's how you see Japan jumped out to this lead. Mawuli. She, oh, set up on the post, but good deep from Kozik. Now Kozik will get it back. She's doubled there. I ain't never scared. Shreds the threads as Russia's within three. So it took a little while for the Russians to wake up, but they are alive and well. And thanks to Kozik, they are now within three after the two-piece. No biscuit. Yamamoto. Lures the D to sleep, but couldn't connect on the rainbow. Probably a shoulder. Shooters roll. Uh oh! Oh, why she do that to her like that? Nagata! OMG! Oh, behind the back, she pulled out the professor. She is sick. Get her some chicken soup. Ishioka took a shot. 
Now she's going to set the screen. 8-5 game, Japan. Now Mawuli. She gets it over to Yamamoto. Yamamoto with Kozik in front of her. Got to the rim. Mawuli couldn't rebound. Just over five minutes to play. Eight, five. Quick trigger on the two ball. Kozik is going to get the score. With one of the four Kina twins out, bringing us Evgenia. She's having an issue with her left eye. They're going to have to put some ice on it. Mawuli might, might need some ice, too. Big girls bump in the bucket. So even though Japan had got out to the hotter start, Russia just remained unfazed. There's, there's very few things that rattled this team. And here they are with an opportunity to tie this game. Just like that. 9-8. They pull within one. Here's Nagata. She's a dangerous woman. Nice pass down to Nishioka with a kiss off the glass. The bank is open on weekends here in Lanjo. Kozik couldn't get it to go. Foul on the flow anyway. A four foul on Japan. But another look at the short range, Jay. Cozy. Suffocated. But not given enough space. Fifth foul on Japan. Nishioka called for the block. Oh, nice pass. It's finished off. Evgenia got that left eye taken care of. She can see clearly now. Yamamoto put on the brakes, trying to break him off some. Couldn't do it that time. Rebound goes to Russia. Close it. Oh, oh. Off her hand. The ball to Japan. see what his run stopped today 42 straight Russia's been unbeaten and Japan continue to attack with an 11 to 9 lead here they go swing it back and forth like a pendulum can Japan continue to hold this Russian team off Nagata she's had the hot hand she misses that one both teams arguing their case that that's off of the other it's ruled Russia ball. Japan won't win this argument. Possession over to the ladies in white. As Kozik will start the possession. Got the Flokina twins on the floor with a Polly shoulder getting a rest. And an offensive foul call. Six on Russia. So they got no more to give with 319 to go in the game. Yamamoto, he's got some nitro in her system. Agata mishandled the pass. She was trying to drop it down to Maruli, but the, the, you see uh, this Japanese team getting sore with each other. It's not, not a whole lot of finger point. They just go to the next, the next play. They got a D up. This Russian team is starting to get in their rhythm. Kozik called for the foul. She gets tied up with Yamamoto, number seven. 
So two free throws for Yamamoto. Yamamoto on that uh, Japanese team that won the Xiangan stop in the women's series. And as I mentioned earlier, was on that silver medal team. In the first edition of the U23 World Cup. She's played at the U23 Nations League for the past two seasons. And has become a, a crowd favorite in every tournament. She is a little stick of dynamite. She sticks it from the strike. And Japan have a three-point lead thanks to her. Feed down to Pali Ashoba, Stephanie Maruli. Holding her own, though. Prevents the bucket. Yamamoto saying, come on, I need a screen. I need, I need some help. What a pass. The Russian defense got caught snoozing again. Evgenia from the corner, not this time. Out of bounds. Black ball. 2.28 to play. And a two possession game. This is all you could want out of uh, a championship game, a gold medal contest. Nagata, good D there from Pali Shova. Oh, good move. But didn't get it up in time. Violation. Oh, Kozik, she got a good look. True two-piece and a two-point game. Yamamoto. Baseline. Fake. Who's that girl? Na, 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 na. She's that girl. And she gives Japan a three-point lead. Fokina missed it right. Look again. Fake, fake. And a little sauce on the reverse. Oh, they Holly and Shoba. Easy bucket. They didn't want to foul. Japan, they do have one to give. Here's Nagata. She got three seconds to get it up. Yamamoto! She didn't hit it that time. Oh, nearly lost it. You know she likes that spot. They go down low, the size mismatch. Mouse in the house. That might be the only liability to having Yamamoto on the court. She's such a dangerous offensive player, but she's so small. She did caught the mismatch down low. It's probably a guaranteed score. We got a minute, seven, and counting. Yamamoto put on a break, step through, scoop. Is a miss? Maruli. Oh, they're saying that, that touched the rim. They're arguing their case. It is going to be a shot clock violation. I don't believe any of the Japanese three are lawyer. They're not going to win that argument. Pull up. Missed. Nagata, quick change of direction. She's waiting on a screen from Nishioka. But she's got to get to business. And she gets the roll. The miscommunication. Holly Ashova. Look again at that last scoopy do from Nagata. She has been on a killing spree here in the final. Looking back at some of her body of work. She has been a woman possessed. Surprise, her head ain't spinning right now. She has definitely been on a mission. Yamamoto helping out the cause. Great defense from Mawuli. 
and Nishioka as well as Japan trying to hold him off with a two-point lead, 30 seconds to play. Yamamoto, she had Nishioka, she missed her though. Mawuli on the drive, the kick, Nishioka open sesame, ready. And Genia lost her foot for some reason. Kozik puts it up, misses it off the side of the glass. And don't look now, but that 42-game win streak for Russia is very much in jeopardy. And their unbeaten campaign to this point is shaky as well. They got a they almost foul. There they go. They do foul. Two shots for Japan. And revenge is a dish best served cold. It's frigid here tonight in this gold medal game. So that old analogy, serving truth. And if both free throws are true, five point game, that the time is gonna tick off. Russia's run and their chance at goal is over this time. Japan get revenge from a loss last year at the same stage. Japanese, they are golden here during Golden Week in China. And a final bow, they get it done. Congratulations. A hell of a win for Japan against an unbeaten Russia team, again, whose 42-game win streak comes to an end in an unbeaten campaign, ends in the championship game. The Japanese prove that they're better than the rest. They come in as a 12 seed, but they end up being number one, and they'll stand atop everybody else on the podium. Russia settled for silver this time around. Can't win them all. They got off to a slow start. Japan was the, the better executing team. Right out of the gates, you saw them jump out to that five point lead. And uh, they never really looked back, although Russia did make it very interesting. Nagata was in her bag. She wasn't looking for no lipstick or nothing either. Her hoop bag of tricks. Behind the back, the professor would be proud. Russia made a nice run there. Kozik with a couple of nice scores. Easy one underneath. She had a couple two pieces from the corner. Yamamoto, though. Speed kills. And eight. Just too potent offensively. Gata looking like an MVP in that final. And you can see the jubilation on this Japanese team. What a win for them. Congratulations, Japan. Speaking of Japan, the Tokyo Games. You know, 3x3 will make its debut next year in the Olympics. Japan as the hosts. They got a lot of 3x3 talent coming out of that country. And it was a 